what's up everyone, Game Dad here, coming at you guys with the final part of my PS4 collection series. That is part five. We are almost through every single game in my PS4 collection, and this video actually marks the final collection video. I have gone through every single handheld, every single console, every game in my collection, and I've shared it all with you guys on YouTube. So I hope you guys have enjoyed these. There have been tons and tons of videos. I think there's like a couple hundred videos or something now of these collection series. Now that does not mean that I'm gonna be stopping videos or anything like that. That just means that these particular collection videos where I'm going through and giving these little mini 20 to 30 second reviews on games will no longer be happening and we'll be moving on to new and exciting things. I've gotten a lot of suggestions over the past couple of years doing these videos and I'm excited to start actually getting to doing some of those. And I got a lot more content planned for everyone, so be sure to hit those subscribe and like buttons, as well as that little notification bell so you can alert every time I got a new video coming out. And without further ado, let's hop into part five. First up, we have Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, released by Capcom in 2017. And this was the first Resident Evil where they kind of went back to the old formula of instead of just gnarly gore, jump scare kind of thing, it was more suspenseful. But I gotta say, playing this game in the VR mode is still terrifying. Up next is Riggs Mechanized Combat League, released by Guerrilla Cambridge in 2016. And this game is okay. There have been other like mech-based games and stuff, especially in VR, because it's kind of cool to do in VR. But the controls are a little wonky, and the game is okay. It's like they really wanted this to really take off, and it didn't. And here we have Rhyme, released by Tequila Works in 2017. And this game is definitely classified as like a walking simulator. Very similar to games like Journey or Flower or Abzu, things like that. It's chill, it's got some puzzles to it, and it's fun. Up next is Rock Band 4, released by Harmonix in 2015. And honestly, if you played one Rock Band, you played them all. And I don't know if the servers are just having issues. Honestly, I don't even know if the servers are still online, but no matter what I did, this game would just not connect. So I got to look at the awesome title screen. Go Rock Band. And here we have Rocket League, released by Psyonix in 2015. And I've got this on a few different platforms, but overall, I mean, it, it's a cool game. It When it first came out, I was very confused. I was like, wait, it's a race car game, but you're playing soccer? Like, it didn't really make sense to me. It doesn't really make sense to me now, but now that I've played a little more, I mean, it is fun. It's addicting. There's a reason it's so popular. Up next is Shadow of the Colossus, released by SCE Japan Studio in 2018. And this game on PS4 looks absolutely phenomenal. The graphical update that this game got from its original launch is, it's just epic. It's such a gorgeous game. And if you like this kind of game, it's really fun. If you don't like this kind of open world puzzle boss game, you won't have fun. Up next is Song of the Deep, released by Insomniac Games in 2016. And I remember when this first came out, it was like something along the lines of this was GameStop's like first game, or they were involved in it in some way, or a studio with them. And, I mean, graphically, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's very Metroidvania-esque, but, I mean, it, it's an okay game. And here we have Spider-Man, released by Insomniac Games in 2018. This is hands down the best Spider-Man game I have ever played. I can't wait for the new Miles Morales to come out on PS5. It's going to be epic. This game is fantastic. If you own a PS4 and you have not played this yet, you have to get it. This is one of the best games on the PS4. Up next, we have Spyro Reignited Trilogy, released by Toys for Bob in 2018. And this takes the first three Spyro games, which are the best ones, in my opinion anyways, and completely gives them a revamp. It's not just like a reskinning. It's like they totally remade these games, but followed, you know, the original blueprint. So it's awesome. And here we have Star Wars Battlefront, released by EA Dice in 2015. 
and this game had so much promise and I just I didn't care for it I just wasn't drawn in it wasn't as fun as the original Battlefront games and I mean then you get Battlefront 2 after this and that was just a microtransaction train wreck I mean EA really screwed this up here we have Street Fighter V, released by Capcom in 2016. And I remember when this came out, I was super excited to play this game. And I was super disappointed in it. It just, it wasn't what I thought it would be. Street Fighter IV was a ton of fun. This one, like, the fighting was cool. The story was garbage, in my opinion. And actually, when it launched, this game wasn't complete. It was missing tons of features that came as DLC later on. Up next is Super Hot VR, released by Super Hot Team in 2017. And I've played regular Super Hot. I gotta say, this is what I would call the definitive edition. There is no more fun way to play this game, in my opinion, than in VR. To have the ability to move your head and cause motion to happen, I mean, this is so much more immersive in a VR experience. Up next is Thief, released by Eidos Montreal in 2014. And this game, it reminds me a lot of the original Thief, or maybe it's the original. It's the original one that I played back on PC way back in the day. And it reminds me of that, but a lot less, you know, okay, you've entered the next screen. And yeah, I mean, it's okay. It definitely has like a modern day Dishonored feel to it, but it, it's an okay game. And here we have Toki Tori 2 Plus, released by Two Tribes in 2016. And this game is just a cute little puzzle platformer. I mean, honestly, if you're looking to just kill a little bit of time, just have some fun playing as some weird bird, I mean, go for it. It's actually a really cool game. Now, here we have Trover Saves the Universe, created by the creator of Rick and Morty. And this game, don't play this with kids in the room. Like, I don't. It's not appropriate at all. I mean, there is so much cussing and foul humor and everything in this game. It's hilarious, but I'm telling you, it is not appropriate for kids. Mm -mm, nope. Up next is Uncharted 4, A Thief's End, released by Naughty Dog in 2016. And this was pretty highly anticipated for me. I really love the Uncharted series. Fantastic games. Very much a Tomb Raider feel to them, but honestly, I think these games are more visually stunning than the Tomb Raider games, and this just completed the story. It was awesome. And here we have Uncharted Lost Legacy, released by Naughty Dog in 2017, and this one was good, but it was short, and it was not like a regular Uncharted game. It really wasn't. And, I mean, I played this whole game in one sitting. It took about six hours, I think, and I was done. Up next, we have Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus, released by Machine Games in 2017. And this is a direct sequel. It takes place pretty much immediately following the events of Wolfenstein, The New Order. And it's super fun. It's a great game. This reboot of this franchise is fantastic. And last up is Ukulele, released by Playtonic Games in 2017. And this is a fantastic 3D open world platforming game. It's super fun. Like, it's totally in the vein of Mario 64 and Mario Odyssey. Like, all those kind of games. But it's just, it's fun. It's a new, fresh take. And the game is fantastic. And there you have it, everyone. That is it. That is the last of the games in my collection that I am showcasing in this way. That's the last of the PS4 games. And as always, if you guys liked today's video or you liked any of the games or anything like that and you wanna let me know about it, let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons as well as that little notification bell so you can alert every time I get a new video coming out. As always, I'm Game Dad. I thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you later.